was in Scotland, I ended up getting quite a bit of the darker beers, so I will be having some of them that I got in Scotland. So today, the beer that I'm going to be reviewing is a porter. It's Harvestoon's, uh, what was it, Old Engine Oil. Very appropriate name for a dark beer. Um, now, I, I've noticed that that I could actually get this in San Francisco. So I was like, well, great. Oh well. But yeah, I, I ended up getting this along with two of their other special stouts uh, because I thought I could only get it there. But I'm guessing it's somewhat cheaper there. So maybe it kind of works out, I don't know. So anyways, I was recommend this, re recommended this by one guy in Scotland saying that this is a standard and legit tasting porter in the UK style. So if some of you may know, uh, UK beers are on the creamier side. Uh, if you know some that we get here like Boddington's and Boddington's and <laughs> actually uh, I've, I've had Pedigree before. Uh, there's only one place in California that I know that you could get. It's uh, really good. It's like Boddington's but tastes even better. So anyways, this is their porter. Uh, it is 6% ABV, which is on the higher side for UK beers since they do have their limit. Um, so, yeah, why don't I go ahead and start on this? There's a little cute little mousey in it. Isn't that cute? Okay. I'm kind of hyper and high voice now because I just came from choir rehearsal. A uh, great thing with this choir that I rehearse with uh, is that I get to drink beer while rehearsing. Pretty awesome. Okay, so here we go. Um, is it clean? Yeah, it's clean. Um, smells great so far. Great sound. Do, 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 do. Okay, the way I poured it, I didn't get too much head, I know, but I kind of like it that way. So here we go. Here's Harvestone's old engine porter. Old engine oil, I mean. Doesn't look as engine oil like some other stouts and porters I've had but anyways it has got it has got it's got a um, light brown uh, head to it not too dark um, can't see through it barely let me take a whiff of this hmm yeah it smells uh, somewhat uh, light it's a little creamy um I don't know, it has kind of like a... And it doesn't smell thick, let's just say. I think that's the best way to describe it. So on the colder side, um, I know Americans like to have their beers cold. I really don't care. I would be happy to drink this room temperature the, the proper way, or you know, nearly room temperature. So, anyways, let me take a drink. Come bite. Um, coffee and toffee maybe toffee ends to it but it's, it's overall it's, it's very light in the mouth feel um, as porters are but this is definitely on the lighter side not watery um, very smooth the although this is uh, from the bottle it doesn't have that 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 little thing in the can in uh, Bonningtons but uh, it still has that smooth creaminess that you get in a UK uh, beer especially a porter uh, this is this is very good It's standard um, I know a lot of us beer geeks and beer snobs are just always want robust, complex, interesting flavors, but you know sometimes it's really good going to the standard and this is just like the Sierra Nevada Pale is uh, this is a good standard porter style. That's that that's definitely for sure and makes sense why they recommended it to me. I think this porter would be awesome on tap. It, man, if, if I had a chance to find this on tap at all when, when I was in Scotland, man, that would have been awesome. Yeah, it's, it's got some of that coffee flavor at the end. It's, and it's from the roasted malt. I just One of the beer ingredients is malt, and it's roasted, so it turns dark, and that brings out some of this roasty flavor, as well as the color as well. And there's there's more to make in the color, too, but yeah, this is, this is great, man. Yeah, it says here, vicious, bittersweet, dark, which makes sense. Um, yeah, it definitely has that bitter kind of end to it. Um, if you guys want to get into darker beers, try it out. Uh, this this may be a good one to start off with, for sure. 
I'm going to stout might be a little too thick, but then again, my first beer was Guinness, and I liked it a lot. Um, so yeah, that was the Old Engine Porter by Hyverston. Um, I recommend it, and uh, I think I'll see you. <clears throat> Man, I'll see you in another Porter or Stout review. Johnny, bye bye. Come bye. I, I think I'm starting to get into rating more. Um, I would give this a nine out of ten. It's really a legit porter. It's very good. Highly recommend it. I'll see you guys in another beer blog. Johnny.